Hello and welcome to Bhuvan Academy. And now in this lecture we are going to learn how to construct and interpret P chart. Let's take a very primary level question. The problem is the following figures give the number of defectives in 20 samples containing 2000 items. There are 20 samples, number of samples 20, but each sample is made up of 2000 items. Yes, we can take this much large sample because we don't need to measure each and every of these 2000 items. Yes, that's why it is possible. In case of control chart for variables, that's not possible. Therefore, there are very small sample size yes you can remember that we have we had solved a problem having sample size of five units only yes because we need to measure particular characteristic in all the items of the sample here that's not needed here, here whether it is defective or not we just want to know about each and every item yes so 20 samples containing 2000 items and <clears throat> The number of defective units in each sample are 425, 430, 216 and so on. You can say read the whole question in the section below your video screen. Yes, so please push the show more button. Don't forget there is the whole question and all other important notes. Yes, okay. Many students raise the query that sir where is the question question is always there just you need to press the button show more okay yes these are the number of defective articles in each and every sample that is made up of 2000 articles yes now two things are said um, clear first each and every sample is made up of 2000 items later on we shall read it Okay, now these are the number of defective units in each and every sample and the sum is 6148. The sign used for defective items is NP and this is summation of the NP. That's why we can use the sign Sigma NP or Sigma of NP 6148. Okay, now 2000 samples each of 20 uh, sorry 20 samples each of 2000 items that means we can have the overall sample size that is 2000 and 20 samples that will be 40,000 this will give us the shortcut to calculate the p bar later on but first of all let us discuss what is p p stands for proportion proportion of defectives in each and every center uh, sample that is p sign p proportion of defective units or defective items in the sample that means def number of defective items divided by sample size that gives us the proportion of defective items in the sample so we have number of defective items in particular sample and we know the sample size, common sample size 2000, each sample contains 2000 items. Okay, so we can calculate the value of P for each and every of the 20 samples by this way or this formula. And since this is the very first question, I have taken all the values in two decimal places only. Okay, okay, we shall round off the value at the last stage only. Before last stage, we shall continue taking all the values appearing on the screen of our calculator. Okay, I have already calculated so that I can give more time in explanation. Okay, by this formula in first sample, it will be 425 divided by 2000. And the rounded off value in two decimal places comes to 0.21. Similarly, in the second sample, it will be 430 out of 2000. The meaning is out of 2000 items in the second sample, 430 are defective. 
that means proportion of defective items in the second sample comes to 0.22 rounded off similarly in third case it will be 216 out of 2000 that is the proportion of defectives comes to 0.11 in this way i have already calculated p values for all the 20 samples and i have highlighted the smallest value as well as the largest value at the time of drawing the p chart we shall need to know the lowest and highest chart uh, rather values of p okay now what first of all let's calculate mean of the proportions p bar the shortcut formula is sigma np divided by sigma n that is 6148 divided by 40,000. The interpretation of this total 6148 is out of 40,000 items in all 20 samples, total 6148 are defectives. So, on an average, in this whole project, 6148 items are defectives out of 40,000 items under inspection okay so it comes to 0 0.1537 that means at final stage we shall take p equals to 0 0.15 rather p bar but in calculations we shall take p bar equals to 1537 0 0.1537 okay now second uh, yes this p bar will be central line for us so we already calculated the central line. Now we need to calculate two lines, upper control limits and lower control limits, rather two limits. Upper control limit, please write the whole title, upper control limit, at least in your examination, upper control limit for P chart. Yes. And the formula is P bar plus 3 into under root P bar into 1 minus P bar upon n that is common sample size if the sample sizes are different this formula can be used but in other way that we shall discuss in uh, later on in another uh, lecture by taking suitable example okay p bar is 0 0.1537 plus 3 into under root 0 0.1537 into 0 0.8463 divided by 2000 and then square root that will be 0 0.1537 plus 3 into that process will give us 0 point sorry under root 0 0.000065 I try to write as many as possible steps okay yes that will give us 0 0.1537 plus 3 into yes square root of 0 0.000065 comes to 0 0.00806 and now multiply this by 3 so it will be 0 0.1537 plus 0 0.0242 and that summation comes to 0 0.1779 Therefore, upper control limit approximately comes to 0 0.18. In the same way, we need to calculate the lower control limit. Write the whole title lower control limit first and then only use the acronym LCL of P chart equals to, yes, just sign will be minus P bar minus 3 into P bar into 1 minus P bar whole divided by and, and square root of the entire fraction. So now we know that ultimately it will be 0 0.1537 minus 0 0.0242 because all these steps are common just sign is minus. So it comes to 0 0.1295 and rounded off floor control limit we shall take is 0 0.13 okay so now we have all the values of p for all 20 say uh, samples 
we have upper control limit, we have lower control limit. Yes. So all these are necessary calculations. Now we can construct the P chart. In the next lecture, we are going to construct the P chart for uh, this data and then to draw the conclusion. Yes. So don't forget to say view and learn how to construct P chart. Okay. Thank you very much.